All right, guys, my uh, my Lennox coil's icing up. Let me get the light. Let's set this up. There we go. Yep. It's frozen. Hasn't made it here yet, thankfully. It's weird how only a few of them are frozen. That's not good. Another thing I noticed, shades of the old uh, upstairs unit, there is condensation somehow getting on the filter rack and I don't know where it's coming from. It's not dripping down the side. So I don't know where it's... Uh, it's yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's condensation or it's from the uh, the frost or ice melting. Yeah, oh well, I don't think it's worth fixing a 10 year old Lennox. Getting a little bit of heat out of here. Not much. Cold and sweaty. That is very, very cold. That's My mom just shut it off. <clears throat> It's, it's cold and sweaty because it's frozen inside. That's why it's so cold. It wasn't frozen coming out of the coil, so it's not going to be frozen out here. But I can kind of tell. And when you run it with low refrigerant, it can also overheat the compressor since they're refrigerant cold. Actually, you know what? It might have cycled on its own. Oh, no, no. My mom shut it off from the her phone. I to see her sitting right there in the window. But yeah, I don't want to overheat this compressor. That's the last thing I want to do. Then we have even bigger issues. Yeah, honestly, I, uh, yeah, this unit's not worth fixing, really. Because it's got a leak somewhere. It's 10 years old. It's only a 13 sear. So. I don't see any oil down there. There's still a little bit of heat coming out of it. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's in the distributor pipes off the, the piston downstairs because they were super rusty when I checked them a few months ago. Not nearly as bad as the, the old unit there. That thing didn't hold it. That thing held a charge for about a week and it was almost bone dry again. This one uh, doesn't seem to be as bad, but still, I don't think it's worth fixing. Oh, well.